You have been playing bass fillers the correct way, but making it sound better is the problem. Don't worry, I got you in this video. I'll be showing you how to make your bass fill sound like a pro, okay? Even not to the limit to the pro, but at least when people hear you play a bass fill, they'll be like, wow, this is impressive, you understand? And if you're also new to the YouTube channel, subscribe, like, and also share this video to your friends. I also do private class lessons. If you're interested, you see the link in the comment section below or in the description. Click on the link, it'll take you direct to to my whatsapp okay so guys grab your base and let's begin with the tutorial so as i said earlier i'll be giving you a few tips to make your bass fills sound better okay so this video shows you an example of a fill you understand so you see how it sound cool so sometimes when you want to apply this kind of fills there are some things you need to know and also there are some techniques that must be played to enable you play such fills like this okay i'll take you step by step so that you understand them very well okay the first thing you need to know your lakato okay so let me show you how a lakato sound let's say we are playing on key g you understand and when you hit your note you see you see that the sound is still playing without cutting off or when you just pluck it the sound is still playing okay so we have a difference between lakato and staccato you understand staccato is when you play shortly you understand and lakato okay so you can just use the lakato as long staccato as short just don't let it confuse you okay so this is what you need to know bringing your lakato into your bass fills you understand i know you might know the few notes you want to play let's say we are playing five six seven one two let's say this is a fill we'll be using two hour two you understand okay so you see that i'm not playing it shortly if you play shortly it will be like you're playing a lick you understand but if you play it in the long term you understand so to just make sure that you maintain the, the the song tempo so that it goes very well okay so put it in mind that you need to learn your lakato you can play it in the major scale for an exercise so that it's stuck into your fingers so like do re mi fa so la ti do you understand okay the second thing you need to know is your hammer on yeah it is very very important to learn this technique so let's say i'll be playing a fill from my one to my six okay you understand you understand okay so what i did here is very very simple when i say hammer on it's when you hit your first note then now this lakato this is when the lakato comes in you see that the sound is still remaining then you now on your next note you don't have to pluck you use your left finger and hammer on the next note so you see how the lakato helps in fills so imagine you play shortly you might still hammer on but you are not playing fills you understand so you understand okay so you just hammer on the note the fills note i played is very simple from your one to your six you can also learn that one two three five six so so you pluck on your two hammer on your three you see you understand pluck on your hammer on your three pluck on your two hammer on three pluck on your five hammer on six okay and the tricky way to play this every time is let's say we are going to play this um, hammer on on the major scale know that at the start of every note you have to pluck so that the remaining sound we used to hammer on you hammer on your two so now on the next string that is your third string you pluck make sure you pluck that is your three hammer on four hammer on five so you understand 
Plock on six. Hammer on seven. Hammer on eight. You understand. Okay. So this is the second thing you need to put in mind. The first one, the Lakato. The second one, hammer on. Just learn it very, very, very well. Yeah, learn it very, very well. You understand, okay? The last one is your slide. It is not compulsory to bring in slide. Yeah, but sometimes you just have to bring it so that it can cover some few space at the start of the, of the, of the, of the groove. You understand? So let's say we are playing the same fills. You see, I did a slide from my one and two. I can even start sliding to my one. You understand? Okay. Okay, I know many of you know the slide. You need to use it very, very well. Okay, so one, two, three, two. You understand? The Lakato. I slide, I hammer on. Then to my five, six. So if you want to continue the fills, some fills are very long. They want to play it. Even not, I won't even say fills. Some some runs are very very long. You want to do a very long run. You understand? You have to apply some few techniques too. You understand? And you can also apply the three techniques i'm teaching you now okay so if you want to continue the, sl um, the the groove as i said earlier you have to slide then you can continue then you can even bring in some lake or something cool or you want to continue with the fills okay so understand it very very well you want to make it short you want to make it long you have to slide again if you want to make it long you see i'm sliding you want to make it long you see i'm sliding so now as you can see i'm even using my little finger to even slide you understand okay so if you want to practice how to slide very simple two three four five make sure you do it to all fingers your middle finger one two three four five your third finger your fourth finger okay so that you master them there are some places you'll be using your 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 your, your third finger to even slide you understand okay this will be the part one of this video there are many things you still need to know but i want you to master this very very well so when i do the part two maybe this coming monday you'll be able to apply the first one very easy that is this video um lesson to the second one so that it will be easy for you okay so learn the lakato the hammer on and also learn the slide learn this three very well and know know the notes you are playing so i'll be seeing you guys in the next video bye for now